Duncan is yours. It's going to be a project car. We do a few little things to her. Right? <laughs> it's not very fast. We're going to make it less, not very fast. about your Yaris, Mike? It's slow. Slow as all can be. What all you have done to this thing? Uh, honestly, just exhaust. Um, what bolts. kind of exhaust? Well, we got a DC header up front uh, going down to a two and a quarter inch downpipe, or two and a half inch actually. Um, going to a single catalytic converter, down to a Magnaflow resonator and a Magnaflow tailpipe with a cutoff. And that's about it. Nothing so full two and a quarter all the way back, stainless, custom. Exactly. Magnaflow muffler, resonator. All right, Nat, that's about it. Yeah. First, we start off by disconnecting the battery and taking the mass airflow sensor out. Today, we're doing a throttle body upgrade. Mike's uh, ER is here. I'm going to try to install one from a 2.4 liter Toyota Camry. As you may have seen by the video, I snagged one from the Wreckers for uh, $22 and change. Now we're just making some room and get at the throttle body. So what's your best quarter mile on this uh, automatic uh, machine here? Uh, before exhaust, the best I got was an 18.1. Um, after the exhaust was done, thanks to you, uh, 17222 is actually So dropped basically a whole second just from doing the exhaust alone. We're hoping the throttle body here will drop this thing into at least a 16.9. But who knows? I just realized snap on generally bought by people who are very good at their job, and this actually says on and off on it. In case you didn't know. It must be for apprentices. <laughs> apprentices are the only ones that can afford that stuff. <laughs> Living at home, making all that money. How much do you know to use? <laughs> <laughs> Next step is remove some of this fun stuff. I hope you can edit out a lot of stuff to... Uh, oh yeah. Sure. So you we don't got some editing going on see here. See my extraordinarily uh, poor craft. So when sh doesn't come apart, then you, <laughs> you edit it. When you start to cry in the corner. There we go. Just moving the. I think that's the EVAP purge valve there. Wow. Yep. I'd rather be purging off some extra excess boost, but you know, take what you can get. Great. There we have it. That's the stuff. Yeah. This is going to be a problem because that's broken off. Oh, you broke it? Sure did. It's never been off. You can put a regular hose clamp on there. Yep. All right, pause tape. While First I, problem <laughs> of the night. Broken bolt. Pull it down here, twist it. 
Oh. There you go. Was it? I knew what I was doing. There we go. Just yeah. like that. Yeah, getting that on that throttle body is going to be a... Uh... Look at that little thing. <laughs> Just a little guy. Little pea shooter. I'll hand these back to you. Okay. Tool bench up here. I'll get you some long uh, needle nose for the. Yeah, that would be nice. Cool actually, hoses. if you want to put these back, I have to deal with that. I actually have to jack it up in order to. Uh... Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Lowered car problems. Yeah, right? Low life. <laughs> you stink. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. Sure. Well, it's too big. Fan's blowing this way, too. <laughs> I don't know where they came from. Your ass, that's <laughs> where they <laughs> <laughs> These are just a little too big to get in there. Let's see. Right. There you go. We can replace those pain the ass clamps after. Yeah. I ain't got no coolant in there anyways. <laughs> Stone fleece in the cap. Or else it'll go everywhere. <laughs> Probably will after that hose comes off anyways. What's that, sorry? I said it will after that hose comes off anyways. Yeah. You want some pliers to take those off? There we go. There it is. There's now we're missing the bucket. Oh, the bucket's right underneath that cowl, so we should be alright. That's out of the way. Here, I had a quarter drive. That wasn't so giant. <laughs> I only grabbed this one for the air box, really. Three more. Where are they hiding? I'm really curious to see what the uh, intake looks like. How it dumps into here, I've never seen it before. There we go. Look at the cobwebs in there. Just <laughs> leave that in there. That's the gasket. I'll try to reuse that. Mm -hmm. God, there's a lot of All right, grab the new throw away. Yeah. Get to her. Yeah, that was a little bit of a pain at the wreckers. Just test fitting. I just basically pulled the whole tube down a little, kind of twist her out of the way. Here, just pull the throw away off it for a sec. Yep. Let's see if we can adjust that. <laughs> Ran into another problem here. Alright, I just took the coolant tube here and just bent it down so it's on a 90. Uh, might be a little loose in the throttle by itself, but they're pressed in anyway, so it should be okay. We're most likely just going to bypass the coolant lines on this. Uh, keep the throttle by a little cooler. Hopefully get a little more performance out of her. We still have a little bit of a clearance issue here. Another fitting there, I'll just bend this one this way. And that should give us some clearance. Alright, let's try this one now. Perfect. I got gloves. Now we just gotta put a couple nuts on there and see what our clearance looks like on the back side. Let's find out if we have enough room with the gasket. Clear. It's 
just put two of them on for now. Yeah. All the way open. I'm gonna grab a better light here, we'll take a look. Alright. Um just don't know if that's gasket there that we're seeing a little bit of yeah yeah i think it is i think we might have to make up a quick little aluminum plate to go on there just to be on the safe side show you an old school way of uh making an outline for a gasket here Put a little bit of that grease on the close. Now we got our center hole. Now we just draw a little outline of that. Excellent. There we go. Close enough. Cut it out. It'll work. Start with the center and then we can cut out the other holes. You got a blade. So we got gasket mic just uh, cut out here. Just gonna make a little spacer. That way we don't have any leakage issues with the throttle body. That gasket not lining up 100%. So quick outline of it. We'll just cut her out and drill her out. Nice. <laughs> yep. Alright, so we're just doing a simple little throttle body bypass here for what's cool. Just a little piece of pipe. Joined together, just a couple of hose clamps. Hold it. Hopefully, you want to put a flare on there. Famous last words. <laughs> there you go. Cool bypass. Simple. Now, uh, we have the adapter plate on. Yeah. Still recording? Yeah. Okay. As you can see, fits much nicer. Seals up the O ring on the back side. We don't have any IL issues. With the big throttle by uh, upside down. There we go. Right side up works a little better. Just so, like that. Look at that, like it was made to be there. No, nope. we'll just uh, see how it looks like. Looks good. Could use a little bit of work, but we're on a time crunch tonight, so. What we forgot to do here, let's put this uh, blue gasket on here first that we made. Now I'll seal her up a little better and just some good old metal on metal here. Now we can put the throttle body on. Not the old one. Oh, put the big one on, not the little <laughs> one. You know, we should measure how many mils this thing is. We didn't even bother. Oh, I was going to. Here, let's do that real quick. All right, so we measured the uh, stock throttle by. This is the number we're getting, about 55 millimeters. It's kind of hard to hold the camera here. Let's do it this way. Now we're measuring the stock one. Yeah, only that way. 
44 millimeters. So we got a 10 millimeter increase here. I think we'll make some power. It's poor Yaris, anyways. <laughs> It does look a little big on there, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, we're going to try to uh, install this very small boot for the throttle by here. If you want me to move this, let me know and I'll uh, get it out of your way. Try not to stab myself. I'll take this back off. This is only temporary until we make up cool air intake for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, after many, many swear words and uh, some inappropriate name calling, we managed to squeeze that little bastard on there. Yeah, it took two of us and it was not easy. One pushing and one stretching. <laughs> Sounds dirty. You got a K and N on that thing? Yeah, actually, wow. the, the K and N didn't have much. Sticker. Horsepower. The sticker actually made about five horse, so sweet. I'm not gonna argue with that. Hey, I better hook the battery back up. The wrench back. Yes, that was blue lights you saw flashing there. <coughs> oh. Sound like we got any leaks. some cops <laughs> nice. but how does it work quite well actually much, works quite well. much better yes but dinos working tonight what's that sorry the butt dinos working tonight <laughs> the ass dino is definitely working tonight I think it feels really good. Definitely, uh, I think it's 16.9? 15.9. No. <laughs> yeah. Eighth mile, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 